The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It, it's been amazing. Angaran expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Callow. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Callow? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. Kadara port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. In the absence of any others, it's an excellent one. Guess I can't argue with that. Anything else to go over? I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Just thinking about you. I'd love to hear more, but this isn't a private channel. I could tell you over drinks. Sloan's holding a get-together for the locals. I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? Sloan doesn't seem like the party type. She sees these events as a necessary evil to keep the people happy. Are you asking me out? I promise to be a perfect gentleman. This is just a friendly night out. Whatever you want, Ryder. I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloan's reserve. I'll meet you outside Outcast HQ. Hey, Jaw. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm... I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. I can see how that help. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. I'm making gifts for everyone. I have a list. Gifts? Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? For Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, I, I'm not sure yet. Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. Uh, Liam seems to like my Rothgin. I might sew him one. 
He does. Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial and garandaga for Drac. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not. Or I don't feel like I am. I feel like that a lot. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, thanks for sharing that. Just be yourself. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. Crumbs on the deck. You found them too? I think something's eating our stores. <laughs> your Moshe is tough. Reminds me of my mom. Is she the heart of your community as well? She never had to stand her ground against the phalanx of Ket. But she put up with me. Heroic efforts all around. <laughs> you dick. More crumbs going where? Something's nesting here. Something that likes cereal. I wonder. We've probably got materials to build a humane trap and catch it. One trap, ready for a visitor. I'll leave it and see what we get.
We got it, Ryder. You patched up the Asari flight recorder? Some old access codes, a little data recovery from Sam. We have the Asari Ark's last heading. Nav points are set. We can head there whenever you're ready. Remember the survey ship? This might not be pretty. Are you... Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before they can't do. Orbiting Gadara. You're always a welcome sight, Pathfinder. Still no word from our search vessel. How goes your hunt for the missing satellites? Your people caught scavengers from Kadara port, stealing them. There was a fight. Your ship lost. I sent them out. And risked your life, too. The scavengers. Angaran? Have our deserters preyed upon us again? We caught up to them. They attacked without warning. Might have been Rokar. We fought them off and recovered what was left of the satellites. I'm so sorry, Pathfinder. And ashamed. This is not who we are. Please accept my apologies. 
I hope you can look past this. It's not your fault. Kadar is full of bad people. They chose to stand alone. They'll suffer the consequences. I'll file a report with our leaders. Perhaps it's time the Resistance got involved. We'll rebuild the satellites and return them to space. I'll keep you updated with our latest charts. Thank you, Mariko. No, Pathfinder. Thank you. Pathfinder, I studied the Angaran astronomer's data transfer. His files begin before the satellites. The initiative will benefit tremendously from this. And all I had to do was lie to him. Thanks, Sam. I trust our people had a smooth transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I assume you're trained for first contact diplomacy. I'm a social anthropologist with a linguistics background. Close enough for Director Tan. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. If something's wrong, I need to know. Maybe you can help me fix it. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran Resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. Aside from Sorvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. How many of our people have they lit into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. 
Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. <laughs>